Hey, it's Mac. How's it going? So, uh, I'm back sooner than I expected. Uh, turns out there was a developer Q&A with the makers of uh, the Forever Winter uh, a few days ago uh, on September 17th. So I'm a little bit late, but uh, hey, I'm not a uh, Forever Winter uh, news channel, um, at least not yet. But uh, just like the day that I dropped my last video about Forever Winter to give my impressions, they came up with this uh, Q&A video. Uh, it's on the Fun Dog Studios YouTube website, but strangely enough, uh, it's it's unlisted, but it just showed up in my homepage uh, a couple days ago. So I'm trying to do my part to signal boost this uh, Q&A session because it's really good. There's about 19 questions. I counted 19 total questions, but I only wanted to highlight four that stuck out to me. Um, I'm not going to do the whole regurgitation of uh, blow by blow of every single question and answer. If you want to check out the whole thing, I'll put the link of the full uh, interview in the uh, link below. So uh, let's just get started. There's an interview with uh, Miles and Jeff. I don't know who they are. I assume they're two of the principal uh, creatives for uh, Forever Winter at the Fun Dog Studios. And uh, yeah, they seem really seem like really cool guys. And I don't know who was moderating the, moderating the questions. I assume it's some community person over at their uh, studio. So uh, the big question uh, out of all uh, 19 questions for me was somebody asked if there's going to be a demo. And they said, yes, they confirmed there's going to be a demo. It's going to be next month. So sometime in October, there's no exact date. And uh, the purpose of this demo, according to them, is for performance tuning. Uh, they want to uh, make sure that uh, they can optimize the game as much as possible, and they're trying to land on their uh, target uh, hardware specs, basically. And they've already admitted that the, the game is already pretty like technically demanding, so they want to make sure with potential buyers, potential players, there's no buyer's remorse, so they pick up the game and it runs like crap. Um, so it makes me a little bit worried, actually, because I heard that the game uses a lot of uh, CPU resources, and I don't have the best CPU on my relatively new PC. So we'll see. Uh, I myself, I'm still going to probably grab the early access uh, game next week um, on the 24th. But this is really good for people who are on the fence. They, they have to wait a little bit longer, of course. But if you just want to check it out, I don't, they don't want to plop down the $27 US, then this is an option for them. So it's great. Question number two uh, concerns the progression and how progression works in co-op, right? So essentially, uh, when it comes to the home base, the, the physical home base is going to be uh, modeled after whoever the host player is. So if I'm the host player, you're going to see whatever is in my base. But all players just maintain their own resources and they uh, also maintain their own uh, reputation standing with each of the factions. But in terms of the physicality of the base, that belongs to the host player. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a really th important note to to take away because they really emphasize the peer-to-peer -peer nature of uh, their uh, multiplayer structure. So yeah, that was a really good question and they answered that really well. It's very clear and concise. Uh, question number three, the one that, that really stuck out for me was uh, a question about the first person mode. Uh, will there be a dedicated first person mode? And um, they said no, <laughs> long story short. They're going to stick with the third person over the shoulder camera hybrid with the first person sort of aiming down sights when you're shooting guys. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, they did say, and, and I sort of agree, that a full FPS first person view is be better suited to PvP, but that's not the game they're making. Um, they did mention, however, this gave me a, l a glimmer of hope. A glimmer of hope that they're exploring a shoulder swapping mechanic so when i hear shoulder swapping i assume this is this is based on my experience with other games like you're aiming down the sights and then you can just kind of swap over the shoulder depending on what kind of cover is in front of you so you have a cover if you have edge of cover on your left you want to shoulder swap the camera so it's over your right shoulder and vice versa right this this tells me that 
you can aim down the sights while still in third person view. That's my assumption of the shoulder swap. Like, they didn't really get into any particulars beyond that, though. And they, but they had, did at least say that this is something that they're going to explore quite soon. It's not some far off roadmap item. This is something that they're probably going to look at very, very uh, soon in the near future. So I, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers because to me, it seems kind of clunky still. I mentioned this in my last video. It seems kind of clunky to move from third to first person like that. And no matter how smooth they make it, I just prefer one or the other, uh, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see. So fourth and final question I want to highlight in this video is that uh, somebody asked about the AI teammates. So essentially, uh, for a game that's based around stealth and kind of moving through the through, moving through the levels stealthily and only engaging in combat when you feel it's gonna, uh, uh, you can engage on your own terms, right? You don't just want to go firing for guns willy nilly. So you can have AI teammates if you're playing solo. I guess a mix. You can just fill in any empty slots with AI teammates. So someone asks, well, what's going to happen if your AI teammates just wander off and starts aggroing enemies? That's just going to make your whole whole game design fall apart. And so they did admit that there's a bug in in whatever advanced build that's circulating around. Uh, you know. Uh, content creators are already playing a version of this game and, and releasing content. I, I'm not part of that group since I only just found out about this thing. Uh, so there's a bug where the AI has been aggroing enemies uh, accidentally, and that's unintended, of course, and they're going to fix it. So the core commands for AI teammates, as, according to them, is that you, you can tell them to follow you. You can tell them to go somewhere to a specific point. You can tell them to come back. You can tell them to shoot a target. And they said that like uh, AI teammates, as they will design it, will never draw aggro unless you send them blatantly in line of sight of an enemy. And then, yeah, you'll, you'll trigger them. Uh, and then AI, AI teammates will only go hot uh, once you as a player is, is attacked. So that is really good. As someone who likes to play games solo most of the time, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is really important to hear because I don't want foolish AI to uh, mess up my best laid plans. Assuming I do have a plan whenever I play this game, and not just like wandering around aimlessly, which is more likely the case. So uh, those are the four uh, questions that I really that really stuck out to me. Like I said, there's 19 questions in total, and, and most of them are really good. Uh, it's obvious that. Uh, these questions were asked by people who have been following the game for much longer than I have, or have had hands-on time with an early build. So if you're curious to see what else they have to say about the game, I go check out the full uh, Q&A session and link below. Again, it's not available. If you just go to the Fun Dog Studios uh, YouTube channel, you, for whatever reason, they unlisted it. Uh, maybe it's a mistake. But uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, Based on their answers, I, I found them to be pretty candid and uh, forthright and sincere. So I am leaning ever closer to pulling the trigger on the early access release come uh, September 24th, which is next Tuesday. We're just four days away. Uh, yeah, that is it for me. Um, thank you, everyone, who has commented, who has checked out my previous Forever Winter Video. I didn't really expect uh, people to uh, come and say hi and just share their thoughts uh, to the extent that you have. So I really appreciate it. And I hope uh, once I start to uh, check out this game and get my hands on it, I can provide some valuable uh, insight into how the game is, I mean, how the game pans out and how it could develop and provide useful feedback to the uh, developers if, if, I, if it really strikes my fancy. So yeah, that's it for me. It's a Friday afternoon over here, and I hope you've enjoying your weekend wherever you are, and uh, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.